Happy weekend. But are you guys excited? This morning's Blogilates workout routine viewing pleasure was brought to you by the Winter Fat Fit Fun Box. <laughs> We're gonna unbox it today. I had you guys perched on that, you know. My excellent cinematography skills. Update, I am taking a break from polish this week. I'm really, I don't know what's gone into me with the nail polish. I'm really enjoying it, but I decided to take a break from it for the week. Yeah, I decided to take a break from painting my nails. It's a good idea to take like, I don't know, a week or so off if you paint them all the time because it ends up drying out your nail plates because there's not good moisture exchange and that can make the, the nails brittle. And my nails were getting like really long. They grow really fast. So I decided to cut them and start fresh. So by the time this week is over, they will have grown out a little bit. So update on this Cetaphil Gentle Clear Clarifying Acne Cream Cleanser. This is a salicylic acid face wash. I wanted to bring your attention to salicylic acid face washes. For those of you who have seborrheic dermatitis, especially in the beard area, this is a good thing to use. Another good product to use is the Vanny Cream Z-Bar. It has zinc pyrithione, an anti-seborrheic ingredient. Lathering to the affected areas. Let it sit on the skin for a couple of minutes, actually, in the case of seborrheic dermatitis with the zinc pyrithione, if you let it sit on there for like three to four minutes and then rinse it off, it can really help in improving it and controlling flares. It tends to flare in the winter time especially if you happen to get sick. Why does this towel look like it got attacked by Freddy Krueger? It's got streaks of tinted mineral sunscreen. I think I was putting on the uh, Color Science Flex Face Shield Matte and I got some of it on here. Yeah, had to bring these back in from the filming studio, aka my living room. I filmed a video yesterday evening for you guys on uh, Black Friday sales from Skin Store and the the pigment gel is on sale. When you guys are watching this, it will be Saturday after Thanksgiving. Comment below, how was your Thanksgiving? I love the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Like I live, I, I love it. It is a tradition for me to watch it every Thanksgiving. It's my favorite thing. And when I found out I was going to be moving to New York several years, you know, in the past, I was like, oh my God, I get to go to the Thanksgiving Day Parade. Wow, what an epic letdown. It is not worth going to in person. I mean, it's one of those things that New Yorkers are like, yeah, we don't get to that. But I was so excited. It was awful because <laughs> there are obviously insane crowds and it's not like when you watch it on TV and it's there in um, Times Square or whatever and like there's a carpet and everything. It's, it's you're stuck in a crowd and you're like trying to peer over people and you really can't, I mean, you can see if you get a good spot, but people are kind of pushing. And I remember when it was finally over, I had to go to the bathroom. That is one of the things that I love the most about living in Texas when I came here. I was like, ah, oh, is that, when you go into a store or whatever, a lot of times they have, a lot of the establishments here have massive bathrooms. Like there is a popular gas station chain here. It's kind of like a roadside attraction slash, you know, must have when you're on a road trip in Texas called Bucky's. I think I've, take, I've taken you guys to Bucky's before, like when I've gone to Austin and stuff. They have the nicest bathrooms. I mean, it's like, they're massive, super clean. They're never out of toilet paper or anything. I'm, they're known for their sweets and their meats, <laughs> sweets and meats. A few minutes ago, I was telling you guys about how I'm taking a break from nail polish this week and I will resume next week with painting my nails again. I think I'm gonna do like a burgundy type color, red for the holiday season, that'll be festive. I've been using that Neostrata Extra Dry Skin Cream, I think it's called, the one with lactic acid and 
glycolic acid. I've been using that on my nails and I've also been using the Cetaphil 20% Urea. Moisturizer urea is really good for the nails as well. You know, if you're dealing with brittle nails, it's worthwhile seeing your healthcare provider. It could be an underlying, you know, medical condition, thyroid disease. But a lot of times it's just, you know, if you've been washing your hands a lot, that can end up drying out the nails, leading to brittleness. And as we get a wiser, brittle nails are more common. But if you have long nails, they end up, they can actually end up getting like ridging just because of the kind of transmits sort of trauma backwards to the matrix just from tapping and stuff. So it's worthwhile to just trim the nails short for a bit and kind of start anew. And while they're trimmed short, just keep putting on moisturizers, especially moisturizers with urea. It can, it can definitely help the nails a lot. And don't trim back the cuticles because those help keep the nail healthy. See, I don't trim my cuticles whatsoever. I mean, you can see them and it certainly does you know, affect how the polish goes on a little bit. Like there's always like a little bit. And I think that annoys people when they're into painting their nails and stuff. But I would rather not have brittle nails and have a little bit of wonky nail polish than be pushing them back, so. Turn around, bright eyes. Every now and then I fall apart. I really need you tonight. I don't know where that came from. I guess because my tree is lit and it's all bright and shiny, I still need to finish decorating it. It's like, half, it's not even half decorated, it's like a third decorated, but I got busy and such is life, you know? Things just, I don't know how people get everything together all the time, have everything together all the time. I feel like I'm one foot in the, one foot in the door, one foot in the bucket of cold water. I don't know what I'm saying. Once upon a time I had light in my life. Now there's only love in the dark. There's nothing you can say. Total eclipse of the heart. Bright eyes. I need coffee. Although it would not seem as though I need coffee. Oh, update. I did I did put together my my little joy montage here. I wanted to update you on the candy cane spruce candlelight candle. It's okay, uh, you know, it had to step in because Tuscany Candle unfortunately could not deliver their candy cane lane or whatever it was called, candle that I love so much. Um, I think I need to go to Kroger today, although I really don't want to. Um, maybe I can survive off of pantry staples in the meantime. I don't want to because it's the holiday season and everybody will be in there fighting over fighting over jellied cranberry. <laughs> Anyways, uh, if I do go to Kroger, maybe I'll get a Tuscany candle to have next. Or maybe we'll get another one of these candlelight ones. Who knows? I mean, it's not that bad. Uh, here we are with the tree. Progress. These are the, the little cheapy ornaments I think I got at Costco last year. I use them just kind of as filler to hide the trunk. Uh, this a viewer sent me last year. I just pinned it on this dowel to steam it. Not last year. They sent it to me a few years ago. It's the Australian 12 Days of Christmas. I want to get this framed. It's so cute. Four working dogs, six boomers hopping. Do you guys call kangaroos boomers in Australia? Or is that like a totally different animal? Y'all have some different animals over there, so... Like a bottle brush tree, do we have those here? Maybe we do, I don't know. What is this cake? Australians, comment below, what is that? Is that a fruit cake? I wanna make a fruit cake. Like what is a nipper? Is that a rabbit? Educate us in the comments here. Oh, sheep, we have those here. Uh, I wanna go to Australia, what, what, two flying doctors? I'd like to be the two flying doctors. Do y'all actually, is this like an actual thing? The 12 days of Christmas, do you guys sing this in Australia? Or is this just a cute little thing that somebody put together? I'm asking a lot of questions of you guys. I feel as though I've just already overwhelmed my Australian audience. Okay, I'm gonna have my coffee now. <laughs> Duh, you didn't have to tell us that. We knew that was coming. I put on Carol. Carol, my Carol Hogman robe. I'm washing my other one that I got 
last year in a bad fit fun box i wish they would bring that row back i've tried finding it online and it's like always sold out it's the little tan one that i have yeah it's kind of drafty in here so i got carol on but what i was going to tell you guys is that lately this has totally been my jam I make a tea latte okay, let, me, let me bring you over here i've got you far away Come a little bit closer, I'm all alone, and the night is so young. All right, I've been making this, I call it a gingerbread tea latte. I take, so I take a packet of this, the ginger digestion elixir tea, and I put it in my frother, and I fill it with milk to the max line. I sweeten it with these pumpkin spice monk fruit drops. It is so good love that combination still got my thanksgiving truck out and my thanksgiving hand towels gobble gobble <laughs> come a little bit closer i'm all alone and the night is so young who sang that i'm not well Bye, la, la, ba, ba. i don't know why i'm in a sing song mood today but hey i'll roll with it six minutes i read a study last night that validated my whole existence that people who drink coffee have a lower stroke risk which i knew people who drink tea have a lower stroke risk which i also knew but people who drink both coffee and tea had even lower than either alone it was pretty decent study although with limitations of course uh, I'm gonna live forever all right you guys let's crack into the winter fab fit fun box no this is not sponsored I paid for this myself I've been getting it for like four years now it seems like I it comes seasonally which I like and honestly Truthfully, I use 90 to 95% of the stuff that I get in these boxes all of the time. As a matter of fact, last night, um, I did the hair mask that I got in the box from last season. I love doing hair masks. I really like that Biolage one and the Function of Beauty one, but last season's box came with a hair mask. It was actually pretty good. I can't remember what the name of it is, but um, I do that you know, from time to time as well and I've been enjoying it. What else came in the last, the last box that I've been enjoying? That little pot I love, the enamelware pot. That was a good thing. That pink urn I have came from a FabFitFun box. The blanket on my bed that I love for real. As a matter of fact, I think I got a second one in this one, spoiler alert. I get a lot of jewelry, but I have to tell you this. Here's the thing about it. The only way to make it work and to get good stuff is you have to customize the box. And you have, so you have to be on top of when the customization date opens up so you can pick what you get. Otherwise you will just get all the leftover stuff that nobody wanted and it will be not very good. And here's the thing. I love this. I continue to buy it. I can continue to get it, but if you are somebody who likes things that are like really matchy matchy, I don't, you know, this may not be a good thing for you because you're gonna be like, why do I have this random glass that doesn't match the rest of my glassware? But for me, it's like, oh, I have a glass now that I can drink out of. <laughs> um, so, you know, I'm, I'm a person of one, so I don't necessarily need a whole matching set. There are always recipes. Ooh, thumbprint cookies. I love making those. I like to make those around the holidays. That reminds me I should make them. Spiked oat milk hot chocolate. Hmm. It's got bourbon in it. Hmm. Ooh, it came with stickers again. That was a new addition last time. Those are cute. I like to put those in my planner. Like I'll put this on the planner day when the next customization date opens up so I don't forget. <laughs> These are something I wanted to have last year and forgot to get because this was a trend last year, making these cocoa bombs. 
and I saw a veganized version of them. You know, you can get the Dandies vegan marshmallows. So I wanna try that out. Oh, chocolate. Hot chocolate bomb maker, Modern Bliss. So I got those. I'm telling you, those silicone molds, I use them like the silicone bake molds. I will never go back to, well, I shouldn't say never, that's a bit you know, intense. But I have like a loaf pan, muffin pans, cake pan now. I love them because they're easier to clean up. They don't, they're easier to get the baked goods out. This is cute, a little hat for the cold months. Michael Kors, I like that. What you know about me? And I got some more cocoa floss. This dental floss is my favorite. And I was glad to see that we were able to add this again this time. I'm, I, lo I love this. It's really good. It really gets between the teeth well. It's smooth and it also tastes good. I love it. I highly recommend cocoa floss. Now, speaking of hair mask, this is, I've gotten into blow drying my hair from time to time. So I wanted to try this. It's by Briogeo. I've never used anything by Briogeo. It's their Farewell Frizz Blow Dry Protection, Blow Dry Perfection and Heat Protectant Cream. So I wanted to try that out. I hear good things about Briogeo. I want to try their shampoo too. Ooh, that smells good. They, I think they also have a fragrance-free shampoo. I could be wrong about that, but I think you guys were telling me that they do. Y'all know, like I said, I've gotten into doing my nails. So I got this Manny Moments little, what is it? Manny in a box duo with a nail file. So in the box you get, I totally forget what came in this. Oh, it's like little hand care products. Massage butter, sunflower seed oil, glycerin, dimethicone and fragrance. This looks like a moisturizer. Anyways, we've got three of those and a little mini nail file. And then this vitamin massage butter. I was kind of hoping it would be like little nail polishes. Oh well. Yeah, that is one thing I love about going to the nail salon is when they massage the lotion in, like if you get a pedicure, oh, and they massage the moisturizer into your feet. Some utensils from Sur la Table. Sur la Table. <laughs> it's a joke. You can never have too many of these. And this actually came with some that I don't have. So it's got I definitely needed something like this, a bowl scraper spatula. I really like the, first of all, the handle on these is really nice, but I really like that it's got a curved and a straight edge. That's that's really good for scraping the bowl because the, the flat, I don't know, just gives you a little bit more, a little bit more finesse. A spatula, a slotted spoon, and a regular spoon. So. That was a win. I will definitely, definitely be using those. And one thing that I was like most excited for is the unhide blanket. So soft, these blankets. Oh, I love mine. And now I have two. So I'm gonna put one out here in the living room and I'm gonna put this one on my bed. Speaking of blankets, I have been loving that weighted blanket from Sleep and Glow. I have been sleeping under that every night and I never thought in a million years I would be into weighted blankets because they always seem like something that would make me claustrophobic, but it's not really that heavy, but it definitely does. It's just definitely like has this very soothing effect that helps you fall asleep. 
I don't know if it's all placebo or what, but I was going into it thinking that it wasn't going to benefit. So it can be placebo because I'm always like, no, this isn't gonna work. Um, and then when it does, it's like, mm hmm. Well, hey guys. So I was on my computer. I just got out of the shower, by the way. You're like, okay, interesting transition. I was not on my computer, on my phone, looking through some photographs. And I came to the realization that I, because I had a photo of this that dated back to like mid-September and I had been using it for a month. So I've been using this twice a day since like late August and I definitely have, this is definitely gonna take me through to the end of the year. I'm almost certain. So that's pretty good. You know, September, October, November, December, more or less four months, not too bad. Yeah, I just wasted like 40 minutes scrolling on my phone, looking at old photographs, trying to like, I don't know, find something. I swear, the, t the phone can really just suck you in. I, I am pretty good, I would say, about not like just going on my phone randomly when I get bored, but boy, if I happen to be on my phone for something, it's so easy to get distracted. I. I swear, TikTok, I know like it's the popular thing, but I cannot go on there because it just eats up all of my time and I don't have a lot of time and the time I have, I don't want to be on there that much. Um, so I try to just go on there and post and interact with you guys over there, but dang, it really sucks you in. So the other little tip I wanted to give you guys is I talked about in my video on cold weather skincare about different balms and stuff, but for those of you who do um, like a lot of wet work as I call it, or if you cook for uh, as your occupation, you're in the kitchen a lot, you're a baker or whatever, you're always washing your hands, ointments are a really good thing to help protect the skin because all of those repeated exposures, water, detergent, and then food in and of itself, handling food with your bare hands, it really can end up causing a lot of irritation on your skin. Like certain foods that have irritating compounds in them that, you know, it's fine if they touch your skin, but cumulatively, if you're, you know, co constantly being exposed to them, it, it can, it adds up, you know, little things cumulatively all together, they end up making a difference to your moisture barrier. Everyone on the internet is always talking about Creed Aventus. And I know it's not new or anything, but I don't think I have ever, I mean, I'm sure I have smelled it like back in my club going days, <laughs> which was a long time ago, a long, long time ago. Um, I'm sure I have, you know, smelled it before. But uh, recently I smelled this cologne over at that British Isle store that I like to go to. But they had perfumes there, and I'm gonna put the name of the maker on here. I'll look it up and I'll put it on here in, in text because I don't remember what it was. But it was this Cuba uh, cologne. Oh, that was, like I go back, so I, I've gone back to British Isles just to smell that cologne. I love it that much. It just had so much depth and character to it. Like just on whip on the little cardboard, it wasn't, it was nice, it was good, it was like, ooh, I like that. But when you actually put it on the skin, oh my gosh, like it almost comes alive. See, there are certain fragrances I don't do well with. I almost want to, I almost feel as though it's bergamot I cannot take. It gives me a headache right away, that almost metallic scent. Oh, I can't do it. It makes me, it gives me a headache, terrible headache. But this was luscious. It was, it had a lot of depth to it, a lot of character. Anyways, guys, wow, that was just an interesting transition. So I hope you all are having a great holiday weekend, if you had a long holiday weekend, because you guys are watching this after Thanksgiving. So I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. I think I already told you guys that. And many of you, I know, don't even live in the US, and you're like, I don't care about Black Friday and Thanksgiving. This must be like an annoying time of the year for everyone else around the world. We're always like, Black Friday, Black Friday, and you're like, oh. Um, anyways, I hope you're having a good day, night, morning, whenever you're watching this. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget sunscreen and subscribe. I don't know why I'm doing. <laughs> Bye.